it you know uh, the issue is that we all pray for God to send a help a helper into our life to send someone who will help us who will assist us so I have this topic <coughs> you were sent to them as a blessing they reject it so you know that was when I was at home those days every day we do used to pray oh God even tonight I pray that prayer God send me my helper Father, send me, locate me with someone, favor me, lead me to a to what to my destiny what helper. Lead me to my destiny what helper. Send me a helper. So if you look at the life of what uh, David, Goliath was sent as a helper to liberate David. Let's let's be real. We are not going to talk about the uh, the, the the bad part of Goliath. Yes, Goliath was their enemy but god sent goliath to what to israel the land of david because he want to use hey <laughs> god let, let's be real he want to use goliath to set david free from being what a, a scapegoat in their home in their family you know what i'm saying because david was a scapegoat so what am i trying to say is that uh he was a scapegoat and a black sheep in the family when I mean black sheep and scapegoat, someone who they left behind, someone who is like they don't, they don't have hope in him because he is just there to take domestic work, maintain some domestic work. That is the main work for David. But God set a war in order for him to liberate David and put him in a position where he have already ordained him to be. So you were sent to them as a blessing, but they rejected you. That is why, hey God, something is coming to this fucking brain. <laughs> Sorry for that word, but you know, some I'm just saying it. So what am I, why do I say it? It's because I just realized what my dad used to call me. A coconut head. So <laughs> so something is coming to this brain. You know, Jesus said in his word, he said, the rejected stone is becoming the corners, the chief cornerstone. So they rejected you, not knowing that you are the blessing. You are the one that they have been fasting and praying for. <laughs> so they rejected you, not knowing that you are the prayer point that they have been waiting for God to answer. <laughs> answer Jehovah, you are answered, Ademo. Daddy, you are a celebrity Jehovah. Daddy, I love you. You are excellent Jehovah. You are Mavelon Jehovah. You are excellent Jesus. Daddy, I love you. So you are the prayer point that they have been expecting for God to answer. So God sent you into their life to liberate them, to favor them, to to open some doors for them. But they rejected you instead of them to treat you well, to take care of you as that woman, that Samaritan woman, as that woman who bring Elijah into his house, give them food, prepare meal for them, prepare many things for them. But yet, Elisha, I mean to say, yet, yet, mm, in all... <coughs> He do what? He provide all this thing. Instead of them to do all this thing, take care of you, treat you like a human, they try to take advantage of you. But now they are regretting. Why? Because they are going to realize that you are the prayer point that they have been what praying for. You are the one that they had been what praying for. You are the one that they have been expecting. You are the one that they have been seeking for. Now, it's already too late before it is what they are come to realize whom you are to them. Because when things were what we are working good for them, they didn't understand the moment you step in. That is why that is when doors start to open. That is when breakthroughs start to occur. That is when liberation starts to do what to occur. They didn't realize that you are the reason why things were working well for them. But the moment you leave, everything turned upside. That's why Jesus said to them, 
Said to them, any house you step in and they refuse to accept you, shake up your feet as a chosen, that it will be better than Sodom and Gomorrah than them on that day. So things are turning upside down. Now they realize whom you are called or the reason, the purpose why God sent you into their life. But it's too late for them because you can't go back to your vomit. <laughs> Now they realize whom the, the purpose why God sent you into their life, but it's too late. They are regretting because everything is turning upside down against them. Everything is turning against them. Nothing is working. Everything is crashing. Everything is destroying. Everything is wasting. Why? Because you are the prayer point that they have been what waiting for. But they refuse to realize whom you are because they don't want to appreciate the fact that you are helping them, you are assisting them, you, are, you have been there for them. They don't want to appreciate it, but rather they want to take advantage of you. But now it's too late before they realize whom you are. You can't say so remembrance. It's too late. They are crying seriously. They are crying seriously. They are wishing if they can have a chance to do or to have you back. Remember, 